Hi, welcome back to my YouTube tutorials. This is ABM Graphics. Yes, today I just want to show you another way of retouching a picture, uh, maybe a black or dark skin picture. Yes, so this is what I just want to show you today and I just want each and everyone who is following you on my YouTube channel to please do more practice so that you can be you can become more uh, 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 exceptional in this kind of career. Yes. So let's just go to into our Photoshop and let's get it done. Okay. Yes. So first of all, we are moving to Photoshop like this. And the next thing I have to do is to just import in the picture yes and put in the picture which is this yes so looking at this picture you see that the face there is a whole lot of distance on it uh, pimples and all, a whole lot of things you know but we need to make it we need to make the person very beautiful yes how do we do that so let's just go over for the retouching yes and we have been doing this always and uh, so the next thing I have to do is to just duplicate it one, two, that's two, and this one I'll call it color, okay, color, and then this one I'll call it texture, okay, yes, and I'll close up this one, and then this one I'll select it, I'll select the color, then I'll come to filter, go to gas and blur, go to blur, and I'll come to gas and blur over there. Then I'll just check through where I think that the pimples is too much on the face. Then I'll just use it to do that. Okay, so let's just use one, two over there. So I just have to move it in. Yes, if I get that, I can see the chicken paws from the face again then i'll just say it's okay so let's just use seven i think seven is okay and it's very cool yes so i'll just click okay and then the next thing i have to do is to open up this one to, to activate it then i'll come to image then i'll go to uh, apply image like this and then let me move it somewhere here and then the layer i'll change it to color okay like that and then I'll change the subtract, I'll change the multiple to what to subtract like this. And then this one should be two, and then this one should be one, two, eight. Okay, and then you leave this one and leave that one like that. Then you click OK. So the next thing I have to do is to change this one from normal to what to linear light like this. And then I'll just Grouped all in one this thing. Then I'll call it frequency. Frequency distribution. Okay. Frequency distribution. Let me just make it short. The frequency separation. Sorry for that. Yes. Then I'll have it like this. Okay. Then I can just see my work and whilst I'm working with that. So the next thing I have to do is to just come over and start. I'll come and select. Uh, what is the name? Uh, laser tool over here then I'll make it 20 like this okay so right now I just want to smooth the face and those kind of things so I just want to fast forward the video and so that the video will not be too long so just watch out how I'll do that so let's go yes so this is the original picture and that is what we have just done and this is that and this is this 
okay so the next thing i have to do is just add some a greater map to it so that the color will basically change so i have something like this then i'll change it to what i'll just come and create on this adjustment layer then i'll have i'll click on let me redo so that you understand what i do it will be like i'm so fast in this okay i'm very sorry about that okay so the what i have to do is to come and click click on the adjustment layer then i'll come to blue jammer over there then i'll change the blind level to what to soft light like this so i can have something like this then i'll just change the color to somewhere like this okay then i'll have something like this over there okay yes so the next thing i have to do is that I love this I love this color yes you can decide to reduce it fine yes if you want but if you don't want you can just leave it how it is okay but uh, what I have to do is that I want to go further to make it very beautiful so what I need to do is to press a uh, control shift alternate E okay then I'll have something it will just export something like this for me then I'll come to filter then I'll go to camera raw filter then I'll click on it and let's wait for us to see so I'll have something like this so what I have to do is that I'll have two different things like this okay this is the original this is what I'll apply it so I'll come I'll come and click on this particular this thing then this is my camera raw and I have a whole lot of filter over there so what I need to do is just come and click on one of the filter that I like so I can click this one you see how it looks beautiful over there okay I can click this one you see this how this one too also looks so you can just check through what kind of filter you would like to use for that particular picture and you can click all, all around just to get a beautiful filter and it's going to be beautiful and so you can use it for all the retouching distance and without any problem in yes okay you can keep clicking just to get a beautiful picture or a, a beautiful filter for that particular distance yes so this is how it's, it's uh, it, we, we are going to get it done so i just have to click ok by using this panel this particular filter over there okay so i have something like this over there yes so there is this filter that i will use so what i need to do is to duplicate and is to just group all in one this thing then i'll just show you how the transformation has been done like this from this to this from this to this yes so sometimes whilst working you can decide to in to, to to just minimize how the thing looks like just it just depends on how you want it to to look beautiful for you yes so this is ABM Graphics. Have a nice day. May God bless you. Keep watching my YouTube tutorials. If you are new here, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you are already a subscriber. Please watch and share and like my videos. Bye bye. Have a nice day.